Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're going to be picking things back up in the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I stayed up pretty late last night working on the latest episode and uh, the most recent episode. We went through the pen missions at the stables and it was a ton of fun. I stayed up way too late playing the game, but it was a lot of fun and I got a lot done. Um, we worked on a few of the missions, um, but we also had some big milestones um, in the process of getting what I've named Goldie, uh, the gold horse that belonged to Zelda uh, from the snow stables there up in Hebra. Um, we ended up encountering our first, not our first Gliok. I, I fought a, I, I, I tried out anyway, the King Gliok, um, way up in the skies. But this was the Frost Gliok, I believe, as what it was called. They were, not the Ice Gliok, I believe it was a Frost Gliok. And I was stressed to the nines, but we beat that Gliok. And it was my first Gliok in the game, so I was very excited to, to finally beat one. I haven't even fought a Lionel yet. I haven't even seen a Lionel in this game. I don't. No, I did see one off in the distance once, but but I haven't I haven't actually encountered a Lionel in this game. But I fought a Gliok and I won, and that was pretty awesome. And at the same time, I made a big cinematic deal out of it because uh, while I was fighting and in the depths of despair over this boss battle, I looked up in the sky and there was Zelda looking down saying, you got this, and it was awesome. And then a blood moon happened and it was all this stuff at the same time. It was pretty cool, but we did, um, we've been doing some upgrades. I've actually found the other Tingle armor over by Dueling Peaks. Um, and then we had our little moment there. We had a little chat about, you know, Link and Zelda again. I don't know why I'm so emotionally wrapped up in this in this story, but uh, it, it's a good story to get emotionally wrapped up in, I guess. If you're gonna either, if you're gonna watch a movie, a show, read a book, play a game, whatever it is, this one's actually a pretty good story uh, to get caught up in. But today we're gonna continue working on those stable missions, the pen missions. Uh, because I want to continue unlocking the sticky suit and also just kind of chopping these off our list as well. We do have the shirt now, uh, the sticky frog clingy shirt suit thing, you know, so I'm hoping we get the pants and whatever the headpiece is with that too. We'll have a full outfit and then we won't slide at all and that's going to be awesome. But I'm excited to get into this with you guys today. I hope you are as well and if you are, do me a favor and click like on this video and also make sure to subscribe for more content if you're out there watching these videos. If you are a regular follower of my channel and you have been watching all of my videos and the work I put into doing it and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Come on in, put a ring on it and help the channel that you've been watching. We would love that. Also, uh, come hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to dive in even deeper with me, if you value Let's Play Easy Mode in a way where you feel like, hey, I'm, I'm in a place where I can, I can support it. Not everybody can. You know, but but if you're in a place where you're like, hey, I can support this and you want to, and you want to get a hold of some extra content, like early release content, you don't want to wait for these videos at YouTube, you want to see them first on Patreon, maybe you're like, hey, there are some other games he's playing that aren't on YouTube over there. There's He's got like Quantic Dream games. He's got like Super Mario World, the original over there. We, we're, playing, we're playing Fable right now over on Patreon as an exclusive. If you want to check that stuff out, or maybe you want to hang out with us on Wednesday nights uh, for our weekly Patreon exclusive live stream, then make sure to check it out by hopping on over to this link right here. Guys, so much cool stuff happens at Patreon and we would love to have you come join the family over there. So make sure to check us out at Patreon. And a special thanks going out to our current Patreon community. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, if you are out there and you wanna join this amazing list of people, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, it's time to dive back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. 
Okay, guys, we are diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. I just realized I never got myself a drink today. I usually like to have some sort of a Madrinas coffee or, or something like that to drink. Uh, water even, but I didn't get any of that. So <laughs> I may have to take a water break in just a second. Uh, we are back over here with Penn. Now, where we are at right now, where we left off is the Highland Stable. And I think this is the one where he was hearing voices. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and talk with him. And, uh, and see what we got. Hmm. A pretty great night, isn't it, partner? Uh, it, it's around the time the eerie voice has been heard on Fural Plain to the northwest. Folks say it happens night after night after night. Could it really be Zelda, though? And if it is her, why is she doing it? Hmm. I guess the only way to find out is a check for ourselves. Ready, partner? Let's go, partner. Oh! Oh, okay. We can do this, partner. Let's head for the Feral Plain to the northwest. Follow me. I mean, could you carry me? Hi! Hey, partner! Over here! Okay. One of the things I was talking about in the last episode, in some ways, it seems... I was talking about how... It, you know, Link is gonna need some PTSD counseling after all of this because it's like he's lost the love of his life. The only true constant he's had in his life has been Zelda and she's gone. And now we're doing all these missions and it's just a constant reminder of her being gone because he knows the truth. Oh. You know what? Guys, that voice, I remember it. That we encountered this before i was running around in this field and we encountered this before this is not zelda it doesn't even sound anything like zelda there was a girl down in the well i think it was making that noise D did you hear that partner <laughs> the, that's the voice all right and it's close by here we go. Um, yeah, we heard about that. Or we, we heard that voice before. Is it Zelda, though? Might be, but where's it coming from? That's not Zelda. My legs won't move. My wings won't flap. I'm duck out of here if I could. I'd duck out of here if I could, but I can't. <clears throat> oh, Over here, dude. There's like a well. If no... There's the well. Leave the RMS, leave the RMS. If not, do you harm? There we go. Leave the arms, leave the arms for if not. Seek the storm. Seek the storm. We talked to her before. Fear it not. You will stay warm. Sagasa. Or Sagasa? Sagasa. I don't know. Sagasa. <clears throat> huh? When did you get here? Do you need something from me? Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. Uh -huh. You also heard, for if not, I'll do you harm. <laughs> Leave your arms or I'll kill you. <laughs> what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear, fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing, and if you put it all together, seek the storm, seek the storm, fear it not, you will stay warm. It's a song about a cute little fox who was proud of their warm fur coat, and they <laughs> this is my speed right here, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things either. I just like how my voice sounds here. Prettier, more refined. It's got good acoustics down there. 
Huh, it sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons kept getting thrown in the well every morning. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> That's like worse than tomatoes being thrown on a stage, right? They could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. Ooh, I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Aye. I like her. She's she's fun. And she seems really nice. Hey, uh, that, that, that you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything. <clears throat> Out with it, partner. What'd you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? No, it's just a you girl in the pair. It's just someone or singing in the well? She's just practicing? Huh, I see. Mm. And her voice echoed off the well walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. Didn't sound anything like Zelda. Acoustics are strange. And that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. Ha, <laughs> ah, so the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for helping. Mm. Uh, we worked together to chase seven of the stories relating to Zelda. Yuck. There's never time for a break, you know. I better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Oh, oh whoops, I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Okay, I'll head back up. Ah. I'd better hurry, too. We wouldn't want more people thinking the princess was casting spells from a well. Till next time. So long. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go back down there, actually. <laughs> what we got for weapons? Giant boomerang. Pulverizer? Hmm. Take the bomb. Hey. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to keep practicing my singing in this well. The acoustics are really nice. Maybe I could live here? Then I'd never have to walk to practice my singing. Oh, but all these weapons are in the way. I don't need them, so take as many as you want. See you later. Well, look at that. That was an easy one. What's next? We did the eerie voice. How many more do we need? We have that. Wait, guys, that was the last of the pen missions. Now we know there's more. So we need to look at this map for a minute. And I wish there was a way to like a legend or something. But I've got to look at all these stables. We did Snowfield Stable. And we know Lucky Clover Gazette is over there. Um, to Bantha Bridge Stable, that's one we haven't done, I don't think. Let's go find out. I don't know, I'm losing track now. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Thanks for hanging out with me while I play this game. It's really fun going through these missions. That last one was super easy. Hold up. Korok? Nope. Korok. Wait, where'd he go? Oh. And 
another one, maybe? Uh... There's bird eggs here. Where'd the flower go? I was thinking maybe... Oh, there's another Korok. Who needs help? Well? The Bantha Bridge Stable Well. Is there a pen? We are looking for pen. There's the band. Hi there. Hi, Banji. Hi. Good on you for working this late. If you need the scoop on the area, just leave it to the auntie. Please don't get. Uh, please don't expect too much. I mean, it's a remote western region. When the stable trotters aren't around, all you can hear is the bleeding of the goats. Any news come from the travelers uh, and peddlers along the road? The road? Oh. Yeah, most stables and villages are connected by well-traveled roads. From here, you can follow them west to the Rito Village or east to New Street. I wonder if Rito Village is getting that bridge built yet. You often encountered travelers on them, eager to share their folksy knowledge. got a hint oh or anything oh covering in this edition ah oh there's an update on the great fairy flees into the flower bud story from earlier the great fairy emerged to appreciate the skill of the sable trotters much to the relief of the ah. nearby stable i heard a rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visit travelers maybe i'll stop by when i go to elden to the mm -hmm. northeast i always write every word read every word of these newspapers Strange to think that I can just sit right here and get an eye on the affairs of the whole world. I've always wondered how this reading material called a newspaper is made. And who makes it exactly? The big cold snap is over. So maybe I'll go visit the news hounds at the Lucky Clover Gazette and see what I can learn. Hmm? Gaggle. Hmm. Is something bothering you, young man? Oh, ho, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster too? Reports say this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored uh, to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Oh. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say the Princess Zelda herself has been seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. It looks very big because you look at the size of the tree. The tree next to it kind of gives you a little bit of a scale. I wonder where the beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike to all stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumors. Hey, Beetle. There we go. I smell a story. Hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of half-eaten Hylian pine cones. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Uh, were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles for my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished. Okay, or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. Mm. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who was taking care of the white goats? I'll look oh. for more clues. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Are you Chork? Ugh. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around? Uh, I given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? 
recipe. Yeah, Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. Mm. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put in a glass bottle. I put in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day and it blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. But what would make my white goats split up the Hylian pine cones and run off like that? Did they, did they really hate Zelda's recipe that much? Okay. Well, we're going this way, it looks like. And we're gonna grab the pine cones on the way, cause... Something tells me we could use them. Man, that Korok seed, that one got me. Can't figure out what, what, where that flower went. All right, goats. Goats, where are you? Hello, goats. Goats, where are you? Where do you think they ran off to? I look down at the end. There's just a bunch of white goats laying there dead on the ground. Let's see. I wonder if I'd have better luck trying to find them uh, when morning comes. I just started an avalanche. Where are the goats? Now, some of these missions are not typically that hard once you actually realize what needs to be done. Hard for me to imagine the goats are all the way up here. But let's get the high ground and look. Okay, so there's the stable over there. Not a lot of places for them to go, that's the thing. <clears throat> There's the shrine. I'm not looking for goats under the rock, by the way. <laughs> Are you under here, goat? back all right so down there is where they're they will pop up if I get closer and they're looking in this direction those are not goats Sun's coming up though, that should make this a little easier. 
any chance the goats went up this road? Guys, I gotta start getting some more arrows. Get away from me, you beastly thing. All right. Rolling down the hill, is that where it went? Okay. Hmm. Highland pine cones. I wonder if we need to follow that trail. <laughs> improvements for sure. Those look like the little things that are gonna... Yep! Hey! You watch yourself! Sure, where to find the these goats? I can't imagine they went all the way this way. Kind of a far way. So far, all of the missions that we've done have not uh, have not been that far from the stable. to think the ghost would be over here. It's a long drop. And that sun has a shade to it, huh? Good lord. Not a shade, but uh, <laughs> that's the problem. There is no shade from the sun, so it's got like a weird brightness to it. It's kind of cool to explore, though. No dead goat so far at the uh, down there that I can see. Let's let's backtrack. Hi, Fox. Hey, have you have you seen a goat? See you later. Follow the road. I went straight because that's where he was looking, but let's just follow the road and see if there are goats. Yeah, look, pine cones. Gotta follow the pine cones. Follow him. Oh, guys. Don't blow the pine cones. I think we're heading in the right direction. Okay. 
Okay. It's a trap! Keep following the, the trail of pine cones. <gasps> there they are! Hi, guys. Hi! Whoa! Look! You took the recipe! No! Oh. Those are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. What, you followed me? Hmm. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them. Thank you, I won't forget this. Oh. This bottle, this is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it, I need to check the recipe. Ah. Yes, yes. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone whole. I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Hi! Hi! Partner. Oh! I saw everything, partner. Oh. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. <laughs> Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Mm. We've worked together to chase eight of the stories relating mm -hmm. to Zelda. Getting to the bottom of the mystery will no doubt improve your reputation. Tracy will be happy to hear about your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Oh! Oh, oops, I almost forgot. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big ah! scoop with you. Soar along. So, interesting thing with all of this. Um, not all of these missions seem to be about like wait a minute yeah this is where we just were okay not all of these I want to go check out that Korok seed again not all of these missions <clears throat> seem to be the Ganon Zelda like things like that some of them like especially these recipe ones have actually been zelda re like zelda was genuinely concerned and taking care of people so that's what's interesting some of these have nothing to do with zelda some of them are traps set by the yiga clan and some probably actually were zelda I was hoping it might make it easier to find. Oh, it was on top. How in the world did I miss that? There we go. 
Can't believe I missed it. It was on top of the horse head all this time. On the Melania head. And there's another guy who needs some help. Over there. Coming. Oh, I wonder where his buddy is. Sometimes I feel like the smoke doesn't show up until he shows you, but. There it is. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. We'll just ride him over. Yeah. Oops. Yep, we'll get you over there, don't you worry. All good? Okay. Gosh, I could just carry him over, you know? Alright, hang on, buddy. Oh. I need to take my horse. Mm. Buddy. Oh. No, we're we're good. We need that mm. um, on the back so that we can take our Korok friend to his friend. Everybody's oh. friends. Okay, okay, okay. I get the point. I, get the point. I probably should have read that. He just said something about Banji. Feels like it's gonna be a pretty rough ride here for this little guy, but you guys told me that I actually can just attach him to this. Oh, let's go. Oof. Oof, oof. Stronger Easy Boy is now, too. we go more seeds today I just download the demo for the new priest uh, princess peach game it's gonna play that with Ellie and uh, I have a gift card that was sent in from Christine and I've been tempted to use that gift card for the Nintendo uh, on that game and maybe that's something that we can play on like a family game night or something like that here or family game day is what Ellie and I call those videos where we can do something with the two of us all right where's our next one next stable outskirt stable was there something there Let's see. All right, we did to Bantha. Let's make sure we've done everything on this side. So, he Hebra, the snow field. It's gonna be really easy to miss these, I think, but I'm going down. That is the Karakara Bazaar. And now let's make sure we did the outskirt stable. 
See, it's a little bit easy, boy. Yeah, I wonder how many of these missions there are. I should look it up just so I know. Ahoy there! Whoa. We have a mission. Yeah. I'm glad to see you made it to Outskirts Stable. These horses are quite the charmers, eh? They used to be stabled southwest of here in Gerudo Canyon, but when the weather changed after the upheaval, it took that stable by surprise. The horses couldn't handle the extreme temperature, so I took them. Say, have you heard any rumors about skeletal horses? Yes, we have, remember? Um, we had easy bones down in the depths. Um, if you take the road north, there's a place called the Sanadin Park Ruins. Folks say they appear from there night after night. Are there spirits? Are they spirits of dead horses that can't move on? Or cursed horses born in the upheaval. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I lose my head as soon as the conversation turns to horses. Well, I expect it's just a rumor, but if it were true, I'm sure, or, or I'd sure like to meet one. Oi! The horse guard's request. Oi! All right, how you doing? Oh! You're the one who helped the great fairy. I'll be. You know, folks say that she grants travelers a blessing that gives them stronger protection. We're honored that the great fairy made her home here. <laughs> I'm so relieved that she's doing better. Thank you, truly. Hey, don't see you guys up north much. Hmm. We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town, set off on our search for Vo. I wanted to put all our Vo and new lessons to the test, but none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh. oh, that reminds me. Before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They called him a hero. Ah. A hero? <laughs> I bet he's a strong Vo who's taller than us even. Okay, slowly walk away, Link. Okay, I'm going to take him out. <gasps> you mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be the one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize him? Oh, the legendary sword. Now I remember the hero's carrying the legendary sword. Okay, the legendary sword. Wait, what is a legendary sword anyway? If it's good enough to be called legendary, then it's probably glows or something. <laughs> oh, maybe it's really tall, taller than us. Even if we were standing on each other's shoulders. Ugh, this sounds like a real pain. It'd be easier to just launch a surprise attack. If we were really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. Risa, you have to stop referring to Vo as targets. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Hi, it's a Vo, and is that a sword he's carrying? Certainly looks like one. Maybe he's the hero. But that sword isn't glowing at all, and it isn't nearly as tall as even one of us. Mm-hmm. Should we take him out? <laughs> I love I love that. That's great. No, Risa, remember our lessons. Brute force isn't the answer. <laughs> anyway, there's no way such a short vow is the hero we heard about. Let's keep looking. <laughs> We're finally getting to true search. Uh oh. Uh, we should, uh, ugh, I can't talk today, guys. We're finally getting to truly search for Vo. Where should we go first? Mm. Hmm, I'd like to go after an intellectual, so I want to head towards Nekluda. I think I'll find what I'm looking for in Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. Uh. That reminds me, I heard that there's a new town in the northeast in Akala called Terrytown. Yeah, they're gonna like that big house that's up there now. Apparently, there's a Gerudo working for a construction company there. Maybe we could use that town as a home base. 
We could head to Farron in the southeast. I heard there's a rare, newly discovered animal there. You know, I just thought of something. I wonder if Hudson's daughter has made it down yet to Gerudo. <sighs> what does that have to do with finding Vo? All right, fine. Never mind my sword. I probably would do good at this point because I've been so scattered to actually look at a breakdown of these missions. I don't want to spoil anything, but at the same time, I don't remember which ones we've done and which ones we haven't. I don't see Penn anywhere. He's not at... Oh, let's make sure he's not at the top. I don't see Pen anywhere. But let's go see if the fairy over here can help. We haven't talked to her in a while. Let's see if she can help us upgrade some armor. I know they all have different ones they can do. So let's look. Hey there, Kesa. Mm. Your scent, young man. It's a fragrance that's familiar to me. So, you have some clothing you want? Mm. Oh my, you're not wearing any. Oh, bummer. Mm. Hmm. Sun the lions. If we can get those, then all we need are the talons. The question is, though, we need two talons, so we probably need to shoot. I hate saying this. Shoot Zelda's foot, get a talon, and then wait 10 minutes and get back on there. <sighs> we need more diamond to upgrade our stupid looking pants. Um. So it looks like. Some of these, you need blue nightshade too. It looks like some of these uh, fairies all just do the same things. <laughs> I was thinking they all did different ones. Like the ones that say can't upgrade this time, another one could do, but maybe I'm wrong. Guys, I don't see Pen here, so let's keep moving on. Uh, up to, yep, that one. Let's do this. Try to cover our ground, you know, honestly, it's, where are we, what are we, what do you say we're eight or not, dragon, we're eight or nine of these in, and, uh, and so it's, it's kind of hard to remember over the course of our playthrough which ones we've done and which ones we haven't. It almost would have been easier to target them all at the same time. There's Pen. Nice. All right, buddy, what you got? Oh. Careful there, partner. You went and scared all the little birds away. You go storming around like that and it, it won't just be birds you send flying for the hills. It's fine though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. I don't want to say this too loud and start a panic, but rumors are spreading about Zelda that she's been seen riding some mysterious mm. beast. That's that picture we saw um, that looked like a big giant warthog thing. Uh, it's said to be a mountain of a beast too, one with huge brutal tusks. My little reporters had never seen something so frightening. Of course, 
what made it far worse was that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying mm. creature. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule, but if this terrifying monster exists, then the implications make this a very, very huge story. Well. You know, there were guests at this stable talking about some kind of rumored beast. My little bird informants told me that there have been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. If we want to learn more, we should dive beak first into this stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. We just need to peck away at this until we figure out if it's an enticing truth or an elaborate fiction. Subtropical region of the south. Let's, let's go talk with some people. A legendary weapon, you say? Anya, give that a, a little more thought. Things with legendary in the titles are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. Mm -hmm. But that rumor beast, now I know we've done all this before, but now that I'm really focused on this particular task, I'm like, it feels like the first time. But that rumored beast you're after, that's what's just a story. Mm. No, no, go to any stable in Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the rumored beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you wouldn't hear about it at so many stables. Oh. Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding this rumored beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. We would have nothing to fear of monsters. <laughs> and what if this weapon is legendary, brittle, and useless? Let's start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumored beast. Ah. Okay. So, let's find out. Subtropic, a subtropical region in the south. I'm not sure. Up to this point, everything has been... I died here? Oh no, Misco, Misco's treasure. I think I already did that. That's what it was, the climbing outfit. Um, hmm. Oh, I left him over there. Sorry, buddy. So subtropical. I'm going to sound like an idiot, but it's quite possible that what I think is subtropical is not. <laughs> um, if I head south, like I'm thinking... Like Amazon tropical forest. But breach of demise, that just sounds ominous. He is looking. He says the south. But I don't know. I don't know that we can, like how far south. I was gonna say, all of these missions have not been that far away. Ooh. 
Ixi. That's why this is called Breach of Demise. Well, I'm not really sure, because, like I said, I all of these missions have never really been that far. It also kind of makes me wonder if we're going to have a boss fight on our hands. Here's the thing. If that beast is that big, is it possible that it's actually down here? I mean, hey, we just collected a bunch of key stuff. That's awesome. Is this subtropical? Cuz doesn't this look like the pit that some big scary monster lives in? You know what? I I know this has a lot of attack power, but Um Still not something that can cut. I don't know why. I feel the need to take out this tree. Sometimes you just gotta chop a tree down. I don't know, guys. Definitely need the arrows. Okay, that's the end of the Master Sword for a little while. So. Let's go single hand. And. I actually need some of these, so I'm gonna try. I really want to try one of these on the uh, Master Sword when it comes back. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks kind of little. It looks more like he's shanking him with something. But we'll give it a shot. What lives down here in the Breach of Demise? And maybe it almost looks like I need to turn around and go back the other way. Towards where those words are. It's more breachy and demisey. Is there a big monster down here? This, uh... Isn't what I think of, I guess, with... I'm thinking, I think, well, subtropical. All right, guys, I promise I'm not a complete it. Oh. Oh yeah, we got stuff, okay. They're coming. Oh, that's seriously oh that goes a long ways oh my goodness I thought that was gonna hit the uh, whiz robe okay that's pretty cool
Yeah, gang attack. Okay. I really don't care about his topaz. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. The only reason I'm hanging out here is because it was, it's not that far away from this and it's south and breach of demise and all this looks like something that will be like a big monster pit down here, but it's the subtropical thing that's throwing me off. And I'm willing to admit at 45 years old and the guy who spent most of his life living in the cold north, um, that maybe what I'm considering subtropical is not actually subtropical. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go look up subtropical, <laughs> and uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get my first Madrina's coffee of the day because I haven't had that yet. And uh, I'm gonna do that, and I will be right back. Well, okay, guys, I have gotten the delicious cold f uh, mocha brew from Madrina's. So good. Mm. That was really good. Um, and besides that, while I was doing that, I ended up looking and realizing I'm really glad I looked this up because I wouldn't have known. my What I figured for Subtropic was correct. Um, and it's just that this is the one mission from what it looks like so far uh, that is not anywhere near the stable that you're given it. So we've got this mission, um, you know, the beast and the princess. But what I've learned is that I need to go down here to Lakeside Stable to actually find the person that I need. I'm really glad I did look and see. Apparently I go down here and that's where I need to go. Mm, that's so good. That's gonna change the whole thing for me now. Mm, just that flavor. The mocha I think is my favorite. Well, I can't I like them all so much. So far I've really enjoyed the mocha and the caramel. Now, I don't know exactly where, but it said that if I go to a cliff that is north of the stable, which looks like it might be somewhere here, there's going to be someone I, I apparently I meet. But it does kind of make me want to see if Penn is down here with another mission, too. I I have no idea where I'm going. It just said I should glide north somewhere. Let's see if there's a person. This looks like something down here. not done this yet so this is cool this looks like I'm gonna have to climb so whoa nope this looks like this might be a Korok puzzle okay let's do that instead squirrel <laughs> There we go. Very nice. Okay. Now. Whoa! Jeez. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. Okay. That's the issue with doing these missions overnight. All right, where's the stable? There's the stable. But where is the cliff that we go talk to somebody? I think we may be in a position where we need to do some climbing in the rain. Can I find anyone just standing around? Yep, that's where we need to go, I bet. And we're kind of at a disadvantage here, unless, for one, I eat something. Do I have anything that's just like a little bit? Stealth up, why not? Okay. And then, let's change into Sticky Suit. Froggy Sleeve. Actually, that's not terrible right now when it comes to our... We only went down like three points on our all-around outfit defense. <laughs> Terrible. It's gonna be great when we can get. What is that over there? Hi there. What is it? You take an interest in Lurland Village? I get it. I mean, this is Lurland Village. We're talking about Hyrule's number one vacation spot. What kind of halfwit comes here and doesn't drop by the village? I totally agree. Oh, right, me. But only because I forgot to bring my swimsuit. Oh. I just have to go to Lakeside Stable and find it. Then I'll be back and ready to relax ah. myself, silly. Oh, and did you hear? They're offering a salt spa at the end. Uh, it sounds way more relaxing than hunting treasure all day. So I'm pretty sure that is not. I could have just taken the bridge. Where am I going, guys? I really need it to be daytime. Oh, that's what that is down there. So, guys, what the heck? Um. Let's see. There must there's a cliff somewhere. I almost want to float over again. Banana. I'm almost thinking if I float over again, because okay, so here's what I read. There's Lakeside. So it said travel to Lakeside and then float over or float north. And there would be someone that I would talk to. And I don't think she was the one. And it would have to do apparently with the mission, the, the princess and the beast or whatever. All right, so it's 5.15 in the morning. Stinking hazy down here. But this is what I was thinking when I thought tropical and subtropic. So this makes me feel a little less stupid. It's just that uh, it's just that where you get that mission on the map is so far north. 
Um, so it said I need to go to Lakeside and travel north to something over here, a cliff. Maybe it's Floria Falls. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know one thing I do want to try? Because I haven't done it yet, and I don't know if it has anything to do. There was these pants I got, glide tights. I want to try those for a minute because they look less stupid, but also it says skydive mobility. I want to see if they add anything to the paragliding. I don't. I doubt they do. It sounds like it's just diving, but uh, maybe you go faster or it's just a little easier to control. I don't know. That's where I was, right? Okay. That is apparently where I went. Okay. Maybe it's here I want to go? It's definitely easier to see in the daylight. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I almost died. <laughs> Good lord. Anyone over there? I mean, if you want to get technical, this is north. Maybe it's up there on the plateau. I don't know. I have no idea. But you know what we're going to do. We're going to use this to get over there. <laughs> oh, there's a shrine. It's up there. Okay. Oh, it's up in the storm. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting up there right now. Oh, wait. I know how I get up there. Guys, I'm doing it again. I'm squirreling. Hang on. Where am I right now? This is where I want to drop down, because it's north. Is there anybody? I do feel like... I may be wrong. Ah, this is it right here. I was going to say, I may be wrong. Yep, 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 yep. Look at this. This is it. I want to take all these, but she probably would, would get mad at me. Um... Yeah, here we go. Oh my, you must have come quite a long way. Uh. This is a sanctuary for Dondons, the new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. So that's the name of the big creature. Oh, that's so good. But, um, I don't think we've actually seen one in person yet. Dondons are quite precious, as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch if you touch them. They might look intimidating, uh, but you've got nothing to worry about. They're a good natured sort. Guys, I thought we were gonna have some big gigantic boss fight. And uh, instead we may have a new friend. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used uh, they used to tr uh, go tromping around after her wherever she went. See, I thought this was gonna be like some hell beast that Ganon rides. And uh, instead, it maybe this is another thing that Zelda did that's going to end up helping us in the end. If we get these Dondons on our side. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm. That reminds me. Did you hear the rumor that Zel of Zelda being seen riding a beast? Well, I'd bet what people actually saw was her with a Dondon back when she established the sanctuary. 
It just goes to show how much rumors can take on a life of their own. Donathans aren't beastly, they're adorable. Right. Is that it? That's the end of the mission? He usually shows up at the end of a mission. Ah. I caught sight of you while I was looking into things at the stable here. I've heard there are rare animals around here somewhere. How about you help me dig into the story here, partner? Warthog. What? Hold on. You're saying this all relates to that beast people have seen Zelda riding around? Mm. On so, it wasn't a beast at all, just a newly discovered animal called a Dondon. And it was a princess it was Princess Zelda herself conducting research on huh? them? Wow, rumors can really get out of hand, can't they? I mean it's hardly a mountain of a beast. Uh, not even a small hill. All that talk of brutal tusks was overblown, too. It's probably just the, the small little warthog creatures that we've seen. Oh. That's why a good reporter must confirm the details before they go to print. You did a good job. We worked together to chase nine of the stories. Yuck. There's never been a time for a break, you know. I better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Okay. One other thing. Bonus. <gasps> yeah! All right! Ah. Woohoo! Any good reporter dresses for the story they're reporting on, you know? This gear lets you cling to walls without slipping. It'd be pretty cool to wear this while conducting an interview in the ah. rain, don't you think? I'm going to hurry back and get the real story published. You take care. Uh -oh. Soar along. Mm. I'm just saying this because I'm not I'm not endorsed by them at this point. I'm trying to be. This is the best cold coffee I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh. It's it's just it's like drinking a milkshake that wakes you up. Mm. All right. Uh, this is awesome, and will she let me take these? Please let me take them. I knew she wouldn't. Excuse me, but you can't take that gem. That gem is a precious clue to understanding Dondon's lives and habits. What do you mean? Well, you'll have to bear with me. It's a bit of a long story. Story time. One day, some luminous stones I'd picked up fell out of my bag. Before I knew it, a Dondon charged over, and then... Chomp, chomp. It gobbled the luminous stones right up. Mm. These animals show no interest in food, and then the luminous stones. Oh, and then luminous stones, of all things, spark their hunger? I was shocked. After a while, we found gems on the ground where the Dondons grazed. Those are the gems. Oh. Uh, where they came uh, from remains a little uncertain, but I think the Dondon creatures uh, created them after eating the luminous stones. Is she saying that they eat luminous stones and poop out gems? If that's the case, I might learn more about the nature of Dondons by studying those. So please, don't take them. Mine smell like roses. Mine smell like sapphire. You know, like, that's pretty funny. Okay. Wait, there they are right there. Let's give him a luminous stone. Hi. I couldn't even tell because we landed right in here. Hi there, buddy. I'm going to give him a luminous stone. And then see if he gives me a gem. Because that's pretty awesome. Let's see. Um, go down to my rocks. There's the rock salt. And there's my luminous. I don't. I got rid of a bunch. You want to eat it? Okay, I'll... I think he wants it. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. You're welcome. Are you... 
Oh, there's my luminous stone. Okay, we're gonna try again, okay, buddy? You can have it. Oh my goodness. There you go. I wonder if so many luminous stones if he if he does like if you do like three or something like that. Kind of looks like he's about ready to poop something. Well, okay, I think that's good to know. If we ever want to go collect a bunch of luminous stones and bring them over here and feed these guys. I know, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. And please be sure to spend time. Okay. Well. Let's go back to Lakeside and make sure there wasn't a, another mission that we needed to do at Lakeside. down it's very rainy for sure oh and we're about to get thunderstorm too pen kicking around here if I'm not here Sorelia ah oh, forgive me I do hope I wasn't in the way the meal on this poster sure looks tasty, doesn't it? I want Tyr, my husband, to come home from his travels to a wonderful meal. Now that Lurland Village is free of pirates, I was hoping to go buy some seafood. Mm. But what if my wonderful husband, Ty, returns from his travels while I'm away? He'd surely worry if I were gone. Should I wait patiently for him to come back? Rain, who's surprised? Yeah, no kidding, it rains all the time. Pen, you around? I don't see him. He's not up top, right? Let's make sure. Wait a minute, am I wearing the right armor? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing the glide pants instead. Oh, come on. Ah, I had it. It's very, very sensitive. I better get. I gotta change what I'm wearing. Or what I have. That. And. That. That doesn't seem to be electric. Pretty sure Pen isn't up here. I kind of feel like I need to look now. There is a, like a hair right there. There it is. 
It's like this one little place that you can get up there. All right, so I didn't think he was up here, but I wanted to take a look. Um, Where else can we go? All right, going back here for a minute. We've done the outskirt stable. Um, we did river, no we haven't. We were up here when we did the serene stable. Snowfield, so let's go down. There's serene. Outskirt. We did that one. And that's it. So we are, there's Highland Stable. Let's do that and work our way up. So there's Highland, and then we need to go up to Riverside. So let's do that. Mm. Okay. Nice to see the rain is done. This is the place with the kid, right? With the... Yes, I, I really feel like we did check here. And we did... We did his thing already here. Yep. Okay. And is this the one with the guy who was taking care of horses? Was it, they gave me a mission to look? I can't remember. Anyway, up. We've done this. Let's go up Riverside. Super cool. We've done nine. It wouldn't surprise me if it's like 10 missions. Uh, and let's change my, oh good, we got Master Sword. <gasps> let's see what we got now. I, oh, I wanna try that, that on it. Let's do that. I think I've done that already anyway, right? That was good. So that makes it a 57. Um, that'll chop some stuff down. And um, let's, let's, besides that, let's get that. That's already good. Let's get that gloom sword and um, there's a lot to look at here. So we'll go down and see if Penn's kicking around down here anywhere. You know what, I don't think so. Nope, we did this mission already. Because this is, yeah. Because this is the one that had the gourmets in the last episode. This was actually the first one we did. So, okay. Highland is a no. Lakeside. Dueling Peaks we've already done. Riverside. Woodland Stable. I, I'm pretty sure we did this one as well, as I remember. Uh, previously, not, not. Uh, I don't think we did this mission yesterday, or uh, you know, in the previous episode, but I'm pretty sure I remember doing this one a while back. I gotta think we're close, guys. Hey, while we're here, we've, we've acquired new sticky, new sticky suit stuff. 
So let's go see our buddy over here. She's the one that always complains about the smell. This is usually my go-to because she's so easy to get to. <laughs> um. I know, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're closing your hands. What's this? Oh, we don't have anything she can do. Okay. Huh? So. Okay. There's our, we need sticky lizards. I've been collecting frogs. We need sticky lizards. So we'll go get sticky lizards. I know we find them in caves. Awesome. All right, that's cool. Bye. Bye. that we already did this one because I kind of remember Pen. I don't remember exactly what the mission was, but it was like this corner right here. Pen was standing with a girl. And we had to do it, and it was like over here somewhere. And then we had those guys. Yeah. Okay. Next. Foothill Stable? South Ocala Stable? East Ocala Stable. So it's, pr I bet you it's one of these. Let's go see. We're awfully close, I bet. I bet you there's just one more to do. We've got nine, it's probably an even 10. How cool would that be to finish that those up? You know, I'm realizing there's a whole second line of hearts. Look at all those hearts we have. And there is an entire second line of hearts to get. And each one of those require four shrines to do. And I love shrines. I'm a little bummed out that that means there's probably going to be a bunch of proving ground shrines to do. Oh, the girl with the dogs. There we go. Underpants? Ah. There you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? Oh. They probably all had to do a bunch of proving ground shrines. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They said that Zelda ordered all the members of the Zonai team here to dress that way. Mm. That's a little pervy, don't you think? This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way. This was definitely Ganon Zelda. This wasn't our Zelda. Our Zelda is faithful to Link. She wouldn't be asking a bunch of dudes to strip down. Uh, but they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous around here to walk around in just their underpants. They won't listen to me, though. They insist they're following Zelda's orders. Hmm. I've also heard that some of these underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. They went to look uh, into a monster den, okay, up the mountain road and haven't come back. I think we're gonna have to fight a monster or another monster group. Uh, why would Zelda give such a reckless order? It wasn't her. These chips and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. Okay, well, let's go talk with the dudes in their Who are you, a traveler? You may be wondering about our clothes or lack thereof. We're just doing what we're told. <gasps> Prepare your mind and body, and then explore an underpants. <laughs> Those were the orders handled down, uh, handed down from the Zonai team. As for why, that I couldn't oh. tell you. It's terrified me just leaving the stable without clothes or equipment. I can't imagine trying to fight monsters this way, like Sango and Drant. Those two went to the monster den just up the road. Mm. I told them to come back at the first sign of danger, but still no sign of them. 
Break time, eh? Uh, what's a guy to do? I got into the Zone Eye survey team recently, and now this? Look at me. You know, I feel like Link can just sit there and go, I know, brother, I know. It stinks when you, you know, you bring your armor with you, and then they want you to take it all off again. Sitting here like a dope in my underpants. Again, I get it. Thought I'd be getting in some, uh, in on something good here, but my first order was to go into the field dressed like this. They say the order came down from none other than Zelda, but I mean, what's up with that, right? Hey. Welcome, Link. Uh, I, I want to take my horse. Grab him. Let's go right up the, the road and take out some monsters. There we go. All right, buddy. I was going to direct dead horses. Yeah, I know. Easy Boy's not planning on dying anytime soon, though. All right, boys. We'll be right back. While I do the amazing feat of changing pants. While riding my horse. Let's go get him. That's a warning to stay out. <laughs> Death Mountain marker number one, climbing path trailhead. Okay. Yep. Come on, buddy. Let's go rescue those underwear dudes. Whoa, this is different. The Maw of Death Mountain. I, you know, come to think of it, I'm probably going to want to change pretty soon. You feeling hot? I can hear you panting. I know, it's getting warmer, buddy. We're gonna take out that monster horde. We're gonna head back. Of course you need to reach your friend. Yeah, I was wondering if I should bring... Just have Easy Boy bring the trailer, the pulley, the trailer hitch, the, you know, the thing. Where is he? All the way over there? All right, we're gonna have to do that one later, my friend. It's like I can build something now if you look. Fans and such. Definitely getting into something. Oh. Check it out, buddy. Underwear dudes. Let me handle this, boys. Zelda has given us the order, so here we go, uh -huh. Sango. It won't be scary if we both go together all at once on the count of three. One, two, three. Uh -huh. huh, Sango, why didn't you go? You you didn't move either, Drank. What's going on? <gasps> what? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. I just realized if I talk into this, it kind of sounds like a robot. Hello. 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 
Oh, it's you. You sound like a mo Now I can be like C-3PO. I'm like, oh, hello. I, what, did you? Oh, I, I. Anyway, I don't know if it, if it came through on the microphone, but it sure sounded like that. What? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. Anyway. Whoa. We're trying to conduct research on the monster's holdup in this cave. But look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team, and it's this word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. Okay. Clearly, Zelda sent a text and it really hosed up the autocorrect. I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way. Bear in mind, she was still just getting used to the camera when we first were hanging out with her in this game. But we're really only members of the survey team. Aww. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but without any? Mm. If only someone could do this. Show us how it's done. I'll try it. Oh. Wait, without gear? I, are you serious? You'll need to go in wearing as little as we are. Now then, I'll hold on. I'm gonna, you mean to tell me Link is gonna subscribe to this madness? Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's do it and get it done. Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. I want it now. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not confident. Neither am I. Do I at least have my stuff? Don't even have full health. Hang on, I need my stuff, guys. Let me let me get a buffer at least. Ah. I'll do it in a second. I just want to get... I have like a truffle or something. Let me eat that. That will give me some full health. Ah. All right. I'm not going in there without it. <sighs> okay. Oh. And now that I have that, let's do like an attack up or something. No, sneaky. Let's do sneaky. Oh, are we doing this again? The whole thing? It's not just a, hey, you're back. Oh, do you again. Okay, let's go. Wait, no. I hit the wrong button because uh. I'm in a hurry. I'm like, hurry up and do it. <clears throat> Gotta hit the wrong. Uh. I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Uh. Come on now. Hurry, hurry. I wish you could like skip through it faster. Mm. Uh. Okay. Oh. Sorry. All right. Oh. Okay. So I've got my buffer, which is good. Now I've got extra hearts. And I've got stealth. Ah. Oh. There better be something down here to use. Looks like there might be something leaning up over there. Uh. 
This is so dumb. This is so dumb. Why would you do this? Oh, shoot. Oh, he gave me plus one. <laughs> Guess what? It's not working. Uh... So much. There's nothing in video games I hate as much as these trial things from Zelda. Oh, he can't do anything. I gotta get out of here. Okay, set that boy on fire. Okay, I need where, where that is. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay. Guys, it's very little and. gonna get him to that is so not fair okay ah! I don't know how to get him to leave me alone uh, he's not gonna leave me alone broadsword Nope, wrong button. I don't, I hate doing this. I don't even know what that does. It's a toasty sun room. Why did I fuse it with a stupid broadsword? Uh. Okay. This is just mean. Thank you. I'll take it. Is he the only enemy we have left? Maybe we have a chance. Can you imagine if I had tried to do this? Oh, there's another one, too.
can't get him. <laughs> Guys, I have no idea how to fight that guy. Oh, shoot. No, 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 don't climb. Stupid. Okay, I need that bow. I need that. Now, how do I get the guy with the... Ooh. Ah, uh, it doesn't freeze him. Ah, uh, arrows, arrows, arrows. Now I have arrows. Um. Guys, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't, I guess I need to break. Okay, wait a minute, hang on, I need to slow down I hate these things so much um I need to fuse he's got rock armor which is stupid and I want to fuse something I can break that up with and I can do that with let's do it with this let's go like that um, Okay, so let's take that and get that stupid mushroom off. That almost looks like the master sword in a weird way, but... And let's go fuse it to a boulder. And maybe that will help. Okay. Got him. <sighs> okay. Guys, I am so sorry. I, I hope I'm not offending anybody. You know, we're all entitled to each his own. We're all entitled to our own opinions of things we like and don't like. If you, I know some of you have mentioned in the comments that you really like these stripped down to nothing, you know, keep having to rebuild yourself up type. I'm so glad that you have that. I'm so glad that's something you enjoy and I'm glad that this game provides that for you. There's very little in life. Forget the video game. I hate working hard to get somewhere and then get reset back down to level zero and anything in life, whether it and anything you do in life, I hate that. Yeah, because I work so hard to get to wherever it is I need to go, and I hate losing it all and losing that work, feeling like you've done so much. You know, like if you've been working on a project on your computer and then something, ha it, it, like 10, 15, 20 hours worth of work, and let's say all of a sudden something happened to your computer or your hard drive, and then all that work was lost, and you've and basically you've wasted the last 20 hours of your life like there's very little in life that irritates me as much as that that's one of those things and and so this represents that to me it, it's it's i hate that feeling of it's like i work so hard to earn all those hearts and in no way shape or form is that fun for me uh to have to go through this again you know it's like we start the game in our underwear. I don't want to be back in my underwear again. Oh, I could have used that to get my health up. Anything else in here that we're gonna need? I could have used that. The arrows, maybe we can keep the arrows because we're low on arrows. But we did do it. We did do it. It was hard. It wasn't pretty. But we did it. 
And I know I did it with a lot of complaining and whining. I'd like to tell you that that's going to change, but I just, oh, I hate these things so much, the getting stripped down. Oh. Wow, you survived. I actually beat them. Uh -huh. What? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants? I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please join us back at the Foothills table. Yes, ah. but we need still the proof that this wasn't Zelda saying, here, 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 have some dumb advice. You know, like that's... Okay, then I'll return the gear that I was holding for you. Mm. We'll head back to Foothills table and wait for you there. Hey, buddy. Guess what? I got stripped down to my underwear again. <laughs> hey, you quit laughing. <laughs> That's why I picture he'd be laughing at me. Easy boy, think it's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need to get to your friend. Sorry. Gotta do that another time. We got a stable to get to. And we need to eat some food. Really glad I brought him with me. Hi there, Mr. Goron. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Over here with all the underwear boys. He beat the monsters. Ooh. Oh great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service defeating the monsters in oh. just his underpants. Incredible, please tell us how this is actually done. Oh. Um, excuse me. What's all this with wearing only underpants? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I guess you haven't heard Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team. She said we had to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. Mm. No, I got the order too. That's why I'm all the way out here doing research. But what Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body and then explore all other paths. Not what you guys thought. Uh, then all the time we've spent doing our survey research on our underpants was a total waste of time? Yep. Well, not entirely. Zelda did say to strengthen our mind and body and to go outside to push ourselves to excel like never before. Yeah, you guys were doing a great job of that, just lying around the stable and not doing anything. And then the other two guys hanging out at the beginning of the cave and me going and doing all the work. Is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods or research, uh, as researchers have been truly tested. Ah. Come on, let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever. Oh gosh, are they gonna really do it in their underwear from now on? Mm. Oh, I see. So the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end. The team here botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure, Zelda really is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. She's, we've worked together to chase 10 of the stories relating to Zelda. There's never time for a break. I don't think that's enough. Go on and add this to your nest. The newspaper has been doing really well lately, and Tracy has sent us a little bonus as a result. It's nice to see that she values our hard work so much. With that, I'll take the wing. This story isn't going to write itself. Soar along. Wow. Okay. So that's not it. We've done... We've done ten... But guys, that there's more. Um, there's more sightings. So I guess I'm gonna have to. What else do we have for stables? This is starting to make me wonder as I look at this. 
besides dual peaks, what am I missing down here? Is there another stable that I'm forgetting about? I know Lakeside. Man, you'd almost think, I know we got all this stuff north. It makes me wonder if they've added stables too, but I don't think so. I don't think I have seen stables added so far. That said, we do have South Akala and East Akala. 12. Could it be that these each have missions with them that we haven't done? Possible. Hmm. Well, there's the horse stable ahead. Oh, we got a little Korok friend down there, but we'll get to him in a little bit. I want to see if Pen is over here. I don't see him up there. Beetle. He's always coming around. Hmm. I see him over here. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. Dream homes, the envy of every son. Whoa, did you hear me singing? How embarrassing. I figured it was so early, no one would be around. That jingle's been stuck in my head ever since I heard that Hudson Construction started making dream homes. Someday I hope I can make the trip east to Terrytown and order a dream home of my own. Meeting that special someone, settling down in a nice big house and Growing gray together. It's all I ever wanted. You know what? It's all Link ever wanted too. That's all we wanted for Link was to just him and Zelda get the nice big house and just Easy Boy and Leia and Goldie and they just sit there and they look out on the horizon and they grow old together. But no, 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 no. I'm just smiling, just imagining it. Of course, before I buy a home, I'll need to figure out the special someone part of the equation. I told Papa to put up a picture of the Unity Bell for good luck in my dating life. I wonder if he's done it. He's my father. Shouldn't be doing his best to... Shouldn't he be doing his best to help me find a partner who has kind eyes and knows how to bake? Hey, if Zelda can't come back, I mean... Link doesn't want to be alone the rest of his life. Guys, I don't see Pen around here. But I don't know. Let's make sure he's not up here. Wait a minute. Is this... This is where the chicken was, right? Yes, we've already been here. Okay, we have already been here because we had to chop all the trees down. That was this, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was this area. Where's your buddy? Well, that's not terrible. I know, hang on. I'll fix it. That's what Link does. He fixes things. I need to see yeah. this man about a horse. Dude, that's some uh, rock and braids you got there. Ah, ah. 
All right, we're gonna go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. Talk, talk, talk. Oh. Um. I need him to take his thing so we can pull. Oh. Actually, I I took it off because I I thought the harness kind of looked like it wouldn't be comfortable. Oh. I know I'm. Making this way more real than it needs to be, but um, it's like I said, it's it's playtime. Ah. Um, but ah. now that he's stronger, I kind of feel like it's not that big of a deal for him to carry it around, and it will help us take the Korok seeds over here. Hi, dog. Yo, dog. <laughs> Hang on. Just realized that must be a proving ground. Shrine. Is it? <sighs> Guys. I'm such an idiot. That I did it again. Okay, what's the tally now? Who are in the comments? was saying that they are keeping a tally of how many times I have to check on this Proving Grounds shrine and go, did we do that one? Is that a Proving Grounds? Because usually I fast travel a lot over here and, or I'll go over here and I'll see it and I'll keep going, hey, is that, hey, there's another shrine. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, that was a bad fuse. That lady's like, hey, he's pulling a Korok on a towing harness. Help! Help! Hey, you said you wanted help. I'm guess what I'm giving you. There we go. All right. So we already did. Here, Easy Boy, you hang out with these guys for a minute. And I'm gonna fast travel up here. To East Akala. And if Penn's not here, then I have no idea where I need to go. And it makes me wonder what am I missing? Have I overlooked one that we've already discovered on the map? Or are there more horse stables that I haven't discovered yet? And that's a whole new thing to think about. There's stuff here. We got the band playing. What are you staring at? Uh... Just how long are they gonna stay there? And may have spotted us spying on them from the cliff. What should I do if they come all the way up here? Ah, you're the traveler from earlier. Sorry I didn't notice uh, you. I'm still preoccupied with the monsters that have settled on North Akala Beach. Well, maybe that's a thing. Below the cliff, uh, cliff, thinking about what would happen if they came up to the stable has me worried. I can't even focus on my work. I've been trying to find someone to go drive them off. Mm. But everyone I've asked has lost their nerve the moment they looked over the edge and saw what they were against. Okay, 
You know, I'm looking over there too, and I'm seeing those two, that two pairs of trees right there, and it kind of makes me wonder if maybe that's a uh, Korok seed. Everyone keeps saying not to worry that they won't come all the way to the stable, but I'm not sure. I don't think I'll really be able to relax until those monsters are gone. Oh, hey, uh, welcome to East Akala Stable, stomping ground of the horse god. Uh, you got some kind of problem with your horse? Be better off talking to Melania. Thanks. He's over there. Take that road. Yep. Mm. And we've discovered Melania already. I've got buns to sell. <laughs> and what are you doing? Strongest in the world, eh? Mm hmm. Hmm. That's an unusual weapon you have there. Where did you get it? It was a gift. <laughs> no kidding. Who from? It's an excellent piece of work. I actually make weapons myself. I've been using all sorts of materials trying to make the strongest weapon in the world. Tell me something. You ever heard of the monster they call a Lionel? Yeah. It's a huge beast with a body like a horse. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen someone try to ride on a Lionel's back only to go flying. I've actually spotted one of their kind northwest of here, near the entrance to Tempest Gulch. But I wasn't about to pick a fight with a monster like that. Strong, agile, and did I mention they can shoot fireballs? Oh yeah. The best I could do was turn tail before it, it caught sight of me. If I could only get a hold of that Lionel's ah! horn, I'm sure I could make the strongest weapon in the world. But I'm no fool. I know I haven't got the skill to take down a Lionel. I just wish someone else would make the weapon of my dreams and show it to me. I'd give them a nice reward. Those monsters are a little too close for comfort. Um... So, here's the thing. That That's more of a personal mission. The problem here is she's saying that we have a problem with... Is he up there? No, he's not. And he's not inside, right? Let's see. What is uh, this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? <laughs> Rito Village safe from Cumulus Crisis. Rito life returns to normal. The departure of the massive cloud and related news of Stormwind Dark. By they're really slow at getting the news out. A ship straight out of the legends of the Rito has appeared. Hmm. Oh, I remember hearing about a fabled savior of the Rito tribe. I thought for sure that was a fairy tale. Guess I was wrong. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Okay. So, here's the thing. That problem that she has, that she's talking about with making Akala safe, my only problem with that, guys, is I don't see Penn here with her talking about that problem. And so what that's making me think is that this, unless I'm missing it. Yep, that's Link's house. What am I missing? Is there a, are, am I overlooking one? That, a stable that's around already that we've gotten? Or is it possible that there's another stable that we haven't actually found yet. Could there be two of them? We did Dueling Peaks. We did all of these. Guys, I don't see anything here. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Yeah, we did that. We did that. I mean, there's not another thing over at the Lucky Clover Gazette, is there? Curious what that was. Maybe that was another shrine? Oh, yeah, that was maybe another shrine or a light from, from below. Now, you know what? Okay, here's something interesting. Earlier, earlier, someone said something. Actually, it was up here. I want to say it was over here at Tabantha Bridge. They were, or one of these. They were talking about, maybe it was this one. They were talking about some horses that they had just gotten from a Gerudo stable. I honestly don't remember there ever being a stable down here in Gerudo. And they said that the stable had to close down because of the weather, but we've cured that problem. So if I fast travel down here, could I potentially find another stable? I'm kind of feeling like I could. You know? Hey, Wolfies. <laughs> These things hit almost worse than uh, Choo Choo's now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a heart attack from these trees and choo-choos. I was all excited for the Korok. And now, she said if you look over the edge, North Ocala Beach is what she was talking about, right? Yeah. Or East Ocala Beach. I think she said North Ocala. I haven't looked in the sky yet, but I know this flight pattern is... I know you're out there. All right. Pirates. Go down and take a look anyway. I don't want to zigzag too much, but I kind of want to stay on task, and I just want to go look at Gerudo. Still, now I see the problem here. So I just got to swim over. And honestly, what do I have? I got a few of those. And I got a few of those. I do need to get some more. brilliant that isn't done that wasn't hold up is that not complete that's not proving grounds
That's... <gasps> Wait a minute. It's in there. There... There is a shrine still in the labyrinth. And I've been there. But why is it not? How do I get in there? Okay. Good to know. Good to remember. Gotta do it, I think, on a more sunny day. You got a cave idea? Hi, little buddy. Where are you? Oh. Oh. Haven't I done this one? I haven't. There is so much to do! Okay. I got a shrine. I got pirates. What? And a bad guy there. Okay. Alright, we got a shrine in the labyrinth. We got pirates in the sea. We have a cave to explore. There is a lot going on here at North Akala. And I think I'm gonna get to that. And I know I'm gonna drive some people crazy because a lot of you guys like squirreling out. But I need to come here for a minute. I need to look at this and see if there is another horse stable in Gerudo. And then um, I'm gonna just take a quick look here and see if there is a horse stable down here. Um, and depending on time, we may not be able to get to it today, but I really wanna finish this. I do wanna stay on task. I, I love squirreling. I really do. I've been spending a whole episodes called squirrels. <laughs> um, but, There is something to be said <coughs> about um, staying on task too. Dang it, there's a shrine I want to get to. You know, I haven't seen the Mulduga either. Guys. Follow that direction. That is a shrine we have not been to. Where is there a horse stable down here? Wait. Nope. Is there... There's enemies. There's that. Where's the giraffe? Wasn't there a giraffe down here at some point? I knew there was a giraffe down here. Oh, wait. Maybe that was it. Um. But look, so there's the this, right? But then there's all this area here. Ooh, I don't know, guys. Is there a horse stable out? There's so there's shrines out here. There's a lot. There's a lot. 
And he said a horse stable in Gerudo. That guy that we talked to with the horses said that they came from a horse stable here. Ah, wait. Nope. So interesting. Saw those colors and I was like, oh wait, is it like a Melania color? No. So I don't know, guys. I might need. I mean, I, I know there's exploration, but if I want to finish this mission soon, I'm almost thinking it would be worth looking up on uh, on Zelda's Dungeon, that online map we used. I haven't used that for this game, but. We used it a lot previously. <laughs> Guys, do you see that smoke over there? Any chance that could be coming from a horse stable or just a campsite? You know, I also need to fight some Gibdos too. I, do, I definitely don't think that's a horse stable. Who wants to fight? Good. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> That works really well. <gasps> oh my gosh. My gloom sword just broke, guys. How do you get another gloom sword? I said it worked really well, but... Who's that? Probably just someone's... I don't know. What are you over here? Horse stable. I don't think that's a horse stable. We'll get up, get the high ground and look. Well, look at that. What are you? You are someone's campsite? Fast travel. And there's the other one we saw. Right? There's gonna be some that we... I think there's gonna be a lot of shrines down here, guys. So. Um... I'm not squirreling necessarily. It's just we have a shrine here and I haven't done a shrine in a while. Uh, and I'm really excited to do that shrine. And I really want to do that shrine right now. I'm going to save it. <sighs> Let's see. 
Is it a proving ground? I've got so many other things I gotta do, real life things. Okay. Drifting flame. All right. I, this might be a long episode, but I haven't done a shrine in a while. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're going to do a shrine really quickly, and um, I just had to go take a little while, go do some, uh, you know, real life stuff and, and more important things. I had to go take care of responsibilities, and now I can do this for a little bit. And I also got a refill this time with the caramel madrinas. Mm. That's, that's so good. All right, here we go. Dr what was this? Drifting flame. So we have a, oh, we just pick up the fire here. Uh, you know, actually, I already have a torch thing too. Where's my torch thing? Oh, is that what I want? Huh. I'm not sure. What is that up there? Look at that, that looks like I wanna, you know, I'm gonna actually drop this sword for a minute. Actually, I'm gonna drop this rock hammer for a minute. No, what am I gonna drop? The, okay, let's do this spear right here. Thing's huge, oh my word, look how big that is. That's crazy, okay. Now let's use the torch. Now, there. Not bad, right, guys? I need more fire. Interesting, okay. So I'm gonna need something that can hold that down. Now let's see. I th uh, Let me take a look at this for a minute. Whoa. So somehow I need to get this flame. There's different things I'm thinking I could try. Somehow I need. This. Can I recall? No. Can I recall that button? Nope. Okay. So we know that, but I need to somehow get this fire. I just can't get it there. How am I going to do this? Okay, let's see. Nope. What do I have? Oh, maybe is there a weapon I have that I can drop right there? I got an idea. 
Oops. That may not be heavy enough, but what if I could take this rock? Oops. Um. Nice. Now. Um. I, I know there's probably another way to do this. That just seemed to make sense to me. Okay, and the door stayed. I wonder what else I could have done. I mean, that feels like that that worked okay. I mean, I don't mind. I don't feel guilty or anything for cheesing something, but. Mm. I wonder. Also, wait, was there another, another one? Where's the, uh... Is there another one to get? Over on this side, maybe? Back, okay. I don't know. You know what, now I can get all my weapons back. sure if there was a second most of them always have a second uh, treasure chest I'm not really sure where it is but that was it guys that was it so what I could have done I bet I could have Probably still done this. I would have put this down. Oh, actually, it wouldn't have worked. I still needed more weight. So the rock was a good idea. So I still could have, um, instead of, what I would have done is still, maybe still put the rock here. Like that. But then walk over here, and then I could have gotten each arrow on fire and done that so I need to remember I can pick up that those pick those up and do it now interestingly enough I there doesn't seem to be this is a big room but there doesn't seem to be another treasure chest in here that's okay if I missed it I missed it is good all right there's that shrine this has been a fun episode but you know I still don't know um I I don't see a stable down here in Gerudo I do see another shrine Three. Oh, you know, if I did that other shrine, let me head over in that direction really quickly because then I can upgrade again. I wonder when it's going to drop down to a second line of hearts. Maybe by the next one. I haven't even really counted my hearts lately. You can hear Ellie out there. We've been goofing off and playing this afternoon. Well, that's why I did in between here when I paused the video. I went out and spent some time with Ellie. She's been working on math. Uh-oh. Unbearable cold. We are definitely ready to put on our... Our stuff.
stuff here. There we go. Um. Okay, there's another shrine over there. And there. Okay. Shrines, shrines. <laughs> shrines, shrines everywhere. Are shrines. Blocking up the scenery. What is it? Yeah, something in my mind. Do this, don't do that. Can you see the shrines? I've got, there's got to be, I'm going to do a parody, guys. I'm definitely doing the parody. <laughs> Shocking. Um, okay. There's got to be a horse stable out here. But, you know, here's the thing. Why would there be? It just dawned on me. I can't even get Easy Boy to get out here in the desert. So there isn't, I'm such an idiot, guys. All this time I've been like, oh, there must be a stable down Gerudo. That There's never been a stable in Gerudo. Why would I think that? If I can't have Easy Boy down here, there's not gonna be a stable. What am I doing? Well, now we're just going shrine hunting here. We're taking a little, uh, okay. Never mind. I'm gonna take the long way around. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Just in case, I want to ruin that. There we go. There. Let's go in. There's no stables in Gerudo. Why would I think that? All this, what just fell down? Was that a big piece of bird poop? What's going on? Who, what, what is that? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go, yeah, okay. Um. Mm. Caramel is so good. Um. Okay, we got another puzzle. I am down with that. Actually, this might be, oh, it's a blessing. Just for getting through the quicksand. I'm in. Not even quicksand, it's like... <gasps> yes, please. All right. Nice. So, why would I think that? All this time, we've never been able to have Easy Boy down there. Why would I think that there would be a stable in Gerudo? Oh boy, guys. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Cool. Now let's, uh, let me get out of here where all the enemies are and let's fast travel back to the previous shrine, and then we'll hit that other shrine that's wherever that other shrine was. Let's go back here. I wonder if they're just like surrounding the whole thing. And I wonder if I go back to the drifting flame shrine, I wonder if by getting over to the other one, we'll still get a better look on, you know, if there's like a fourth shrine, because I almost wonder if they surround that 
whole area. Okay, we just did that one. Yep, there it is. Any of these? Nope. I was gonna say that'll save us some time. We're gonna need to put on that. There we go. Where is it? Have I lost it already? None of these have fallen. It'd be cool if I if they could, but <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I think I'm heading the right way. Love having all these stamina wheels. This sure makes a difference. Uh. Did I just mess up? Very possible. Wait, are we? Oh, it is too hot. Um. What do I have? Oh, I'm glad I've got that. Ooh, you know what? Hot weather attack, how about that? There it is. Well, that's a long ways away. Man, it would have been nice to have Easy Boy, but I don't think Easy Boy would make it down here. I mean, he's strong, and he might, but at least according to this game and its limitations, as far as the horse down here, I don't think Easy Boy would make it. I don't even see Korok seeds down here. Still no Molduga. Still no Molduga. Which is funny because we saw them. They did come. Um. <laughs> Guys, what's that? What's that over there? It's another fire. I just thought of something. We need to go back to that other shrine because there was there was another camp uh, person. Oh, I should have waited. You remember there was a campsite? You remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Oh, we got some. Stuff being guarded. I 
Actually, I think I need that key sideball. Oh, it went right for him instead. Ooh. I'm just going to implement the same strategy I did before. Because I liked it. And it was pretty cool. Still might fight and farm some of those monster parts after, but. Mm. <sighs> Not again. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You guys know there's nothing that stresses me out. Lure. them to come over here into those beams maybe is the I wonder if the best way to get up there nope Nothing. Maybe that's our way of protecting ourselves. Oh, good lord! round. Good Lord. We don't want the rock to do that. But you know what might help the rock? Or might help my stick is a rock. <laughs> By one. I make that? I don't know. I can. Yeah! 
Okay. Nice. Aim for the head. Oh, lure them! Lure them! Stay on it. I may be totally doing this wrong, but... Yep. Take that. Okay, I got an idea. I have an idea of some things I want to try now. Take his own night long sword. Now that's already fused. Nope. Okay. Nice. Now. Take that. I'm gonna throw this. At someone. Guys, there's... I'm almost done, actually. Have done what the heck is this? What is that? That looks like a spike. Ooh, that's a spike. seen those yet okay and now we'll take this blunt object there's one more oh you know it is called lure so I could lure them in I want to hit him with this thing. I really do. This should take care of it. Do I have a shield? I don't. I've never had a shield. I just beat a proving ground. I beat a proving ground. Wait, that's two times in this episode that Link has been stripped down to his underwear and we did it. Yep. I'm 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 here for it. Wow. Feeling kind of proud today. <gasps> Say what? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We don't, we don't need that spear anymore. Wow, look at this thing. Imagine. That's gonna get some jobs done. Hey guys, in the last episode, I beat a Gliok. And then, in this episode, I did two, well, one Proving Ground and another, just that other mission we had to do. Getting there. Mm. And the best way to celebrate. Okay.
So now this brings up an interesting thing, though. Um, first off, is there a shrine off to my right? I don't see one. I think that's it. There's definitely some bad guys down there. I don't know if I'm feeling ambitious. Um, but the next question is getting back on track. Where is there another horse stable? There's our, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember we put that down. Where could there be another horse stable? Because we've done I did foothill, right, guys? We did do foothill. Did we not? Yeah, we did foothill. I've, I've gone over this. We did foothill, then we did Akala, both Akalas. So I don't know. And I'm my memory is not serving me. <clears throat> I don't remember other ones from Breath of the Wild. Is there one here by Lucky Clover? That was a stable at one time. I don't know. Guys, I don't know, but I'm going back there for a minute because we've been spending so much time Trying to, you know, kind of figure out all these stable missions. I might go check in with Tracy. Oh, yeah, all the thorns. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, back this way. Kind of on the cold side over here. Holding up. Um, oh. Ah, hello, Link. Working hard at such a late hour. Good, good. Ah. Now that the blizzard has finally stopped, my sisters and I can get back to work. Duma headed off to the northeast towards Goron City, I think. She's looking into a rumor about some kind of underground city there. There's a little too. Uh, she's a little too quick to trust people, in my opinion. I hope she's not chasing a lead oh. that goes nowhere. By the way, how are you and Pen doing? Everything going okay? Did you lose track of your partner? Oh. Let's see, right around now, he should be canvassing a wetland stable. We don't have a wetland stable. This was a good thing. <clears throat> ah. Do you know it? It's the place, wait, what? It's the place right across a Re Rabboni Bridge over an Eastern Hyrule field. We didn't check that out. Actually, it's pretty close to Kakariko Village. That's where those ruins, the ring ruins, I think, fell down. With all that going on, there have been a lot more travelers in the area. And that means, really? Pin had a hunch he'd be able to find... Oh, oh this was great. 
Readers all over Hyrule have their eyes and ears peeled for any information about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. The Lucky Clover Gazette is equally eager and is happy to help however it can. Is this all that's left? Yeah. Ah. So, that set of frog hammer caught your eye. <laughs> with that, you'll cling to wet surfaces without slipping. Great if you need to stay on the lookout. Work with Pen to get the bomb, uh, bomb of the rumors. Okay. Ah. Think of the stables as soup pots full of tasty leads. Um. Hyrule Field. There's a bridge. We gotta find the bridge. Near Kakariko. Wait. Riverside Stable. What was this? Okay. Look, somewhere over here. The wetlands. There's a stable we haven't found yet. Okay, can you tell me where it is again? How's it going? Wetland stable. Place it right across Raboni Bridge over an Eastern Hyrule field. Okay. Eastern Hyrule Field. A Rabon Raboni Bridge, I believe is what it was called. There's Owlin Bridge. Um. Bridge, bridge. Huh. Well, we know it's in the wetlands, right? Hyrule Field. Wetland Stable. See this shrine right here, guys? Does this strike you as a shrine that would be near a stable somewhere right in here? Let's go look. And maybe this is one of those things where I saw it and I'm like, oh, I'll come back to it, but I, I never marked it. Unless that's where that marking is on the map. Let's find out. Oh, well, that's neat. Uh, okay. Is there a stable? And look over there. There's a shrine. I marked that shrine. That's what that was. But where's the bridge? It's it's across from a bridge. I mean, we don't know any of these bridges could all have names, right? You just got to get over them, I think, for them to to say it maybe. Riverside stable. I don't know. It's got to be here somewhere. Not too far from Kakariko. Which is why I... I don't know. Oh, it's right here. I know it. Um... This has got to be great because it's Eastern Hyrule... Field. Where is that bridge? Oh, I don't need this here anymore.
Because it's got to be right here. I mean, we've got all of this to look at. Guys, that's it. Look. It's being blocked by my blue marker. It is there. You can see it when the blue marker is not there. That's the smoke from a... Yep, there it is. We found it. We found it. All right. <clears throat> now I kind of wish I went way up and floated down. Is this the final one? We got the deer. Yep. Got here, monkey. You know what? I want to see what happens when you hit one of these guys with a dazzle fruit. Because everybody keeps telling me about the dazzle fruit. Okay. Understood. Oh no. Quick, get out of here before they all rise up from the ground again. Ooh, where are you? <gasps> Blue Nightshade! of the blood-stained wow. moon shines upon the land. The you know, we had a blood moon in the previous episode when we fought the Gleok. I am really surprised it was been that much in-game time already. Oh, and for the record, I just read my comments during that break when I was I paused the game before we were did the Gerudo shrines, and I was doing some homeschool with my daughter and just kind of doing real life dad stuff. And I picked up my phone. I was reading the comments, and a little shout out to Matt over at SideQuest Stories, who just mentioned to me, "Hey, you know that how you were looking for Blue Nightshade in Korok." Um, don't forget that you can drop things and take pictures of them. I was looking everywhere saying, oh, I need to take a picture of the blue nightshade. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I, I Here I am now taking a picture of it. Add it to the compendium, but... There. There we go. So now we have blue nightshade in there. And we could go on a blue, blue nightshade hunt. Actually, I have enough now to upgrade one of those pieces of armor, but I need nine. If I get nine, I can upgrade all three of uh, the stealth armor. And get them all out of the two or three range and bring them all up to five. What do we have here? Forward force. 
forward force. Okay, we got a ball that needs to go there. That is ultimately where we need to go. There's a door right there. Okay. We have a ladder here. And there's a ball. Ooh. Looks like we might have to drive the ball. Okay. We have a ladder. <laughs> okay, so let's get this ball. I think we might need to put it on here. Let's go. Over the lava and through the woods. You can stop. Take a look at what we're looking at here. And also climb the ladder. This is quicker. So then it's gonna come this way. All right, forward force. That's what this one is called. This was a little trickier. Um. Is this, this is a wheel. Close. See, I, I don't, I got an idea. I don't think it's gonna work. I would be very surprised if it did. But, it's Tears of the Kingdom, and it's meant to, meant to play. Now, Gosh. Well, I'm gonna try something fun, and if it doesn't work, there's totally a way to cheese this. Like, totally a way to cheese it. Like, there's definitely a way to cheese this. Um, but I'm gonna try something, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to do this guilt-free, so hopefully I don't offend anybody. Or... Ah, wait a minute, go back and do that. Nope, do that. Hold on. That's not it. I did not mean for it to go in that angle. This may not work. Nope, this isn't gonna work. Especially if it's gonna lock into place somewhere else. Like that. That's not what I want to do. Uh, I was thinking I could, hang on. Maybe. 
maybe that's actually what I need to do. Is that. Okay. Just to give it a little extra. Wait, which way is it going? That way. Okay. That may not work, but we're gonna see. Maybe you guys can tell what it is I'm trying to do. Yeah, I was thinking maybe, but that wheel's not big enough to do that. Um, and you know, I tried to attach the ball and the ball's not, it hasn't been attached. I was thinking maybe there was a way to bring it up. Okay, here, let me stop. Get my arrows back. Well, um, I don't wanna take forever on it and I definitely know a way to cheese it. I could just take that platform, put the ball on top and then just bring it up there and then go up there and do the recall thing and then just grab the ball and move on to the next step. I know there's some people that are like, I don't wanna watch you when you do that. And I'm like, well, I'm having fun. Sorry, you're not having fun, but I'm having fun. Um, I mean, look, I can almost. I got an idea. I mean, I could do this. Seriously. I mean, I'm sorry guys, but if you're not meant to do that, then you shouldn't be allowed to. <laughs> I know there's people flipping out. I can't believe you cheated. It's not cheating. I, you know what? I am going to come up with a confident, strong opinion of my own. If it's available to you, it's not cheating. If it's fun for you, go do it. And that's what's fun for me. Right now, I wanna do this shrine so I can go find out what the mission is at the stable. And uh, I don't feel like I'm robbing myself of anything. I'm having, a, I'm having fun doing this. Now the question is, what do I do next? Obviously, I need to go swimming. Oh, what's up there? Not swimming, but boating. Oh, okay. Maybe my weight, I think I know what it is. I think I need to ride up this or walk across doing this because maybe if I put the ball, over here, it might just be too much. Okay. Not gonna work. Because the water's going the wrong way. The water's working against us. So. Uh -oh. oh. So is there a switch that can turn the flow of the water? See how the water's working against us here. Which is why I'm wondering, is there, oh my gosh, guys, can I recall? No, 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 that's not what I meant. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, put that back in there. Oops. There. Okay, now watch this, I got an idea. 
I'm going to do that. No, that's not going to work. I don't know why I was thinking that was going to work. Okay, so that's going. Let's see if there's a switch or something that changes the direction of the water. I bet it does. I bet it does. I bet you it's that thing right there that I've got to stand on. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. No. It's that. And that's where I can drop the ball in the hole. So how do I get it over? Well, let's see. of other wood now here's the thing i want to say for people out there who may be you know sitting there going like i can't believe you just lifted that ball up and did it the way that you did it tell me how you did it i'm okay with the way i did it i had fun and it was quick and easy and now i can keep moving on and i don't feel gypped at all um but tell me how you did it and uh we'd love to hear your ideas as a community um, go ahead and tell me how you got the ball up this way and also how you got the ball this way because I have a feeling what I might do is some people are going to consider cheesing. Either way, I don't think this is going to be very easy. Now, there's all these different things here I mean gosh I I don't know Maybe it actually takes two. Maybe it's just that it's not powerful enough. Uh-oh! Link fell in the water. enough it wants to be it really wants to be now here's a thought what if I just need to take this middle guy out Just too much weight. Nope. So this water, there's no way to, uh, apparently, no way to get this water. Well, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a lot of people who would be frustrated with uh, the way ways I'm thinking of doing it. Because it's not necessarily what is being presented to me as an intended way to do it. I'm just not getting it and I don't want to spend all day on it because that's not fun for me. So, let me go back over here and see what parts we have to work with. Are there anything, is there anything around here? 
Or is there something on this side? Nope. Okay. Now, I see how it, this was called forward force. But how do we get that forward force to actually move? Move it forward. I am not really sure. Um, can this? This stuff can't like glue to that. No. Oh, I just found the other. Hang on. Nice. Um, what am I gonna do with a soaring boomerang? Let's keep the sword. Okay, okay. Cause guys, I don't get it. I don't. I am lost. Um. I mean, in my mind. It's going the right way, but. Yep, there's not some weird water thing uh, missing, some weird physic. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, it's supposed to be in reverse. Um. I wonder if it's actually placement to do with the ball. Oh gosh, okay, I am hosing this up. Maybe the ball needs to be in the middle. Well, that's not making a difference either. It's not making a difference either. Well, sorry guys, but uh, I think I'm gonna be doing this again. I don't know if I can. It might be too much. It's not, it's not far enough. Oh, it's not far enough. Don't go in the water. Guys, I really don't know. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Like I'm gonna, <laughs> right now it's uh, 4.09. And I'm starting to run out of time, but I don't want to end this episode on this right here where we're at. So I have this bad feeling I'm going to be like coming back at this at like 11 o'clock tonight. Um, I wonder if there is another way to do this. Right now I'm more interested in just cheating through, but... I'm not even sure I even like that term anymore, to be honest. Everybody, there's so many people are like, that's cheesing. I'm like, what? Big deal, this is easy mode. Yes. That will do the trick. 
Okay. It's got to be enough right there, I think. Give myself time to get up on the ladder. Boom. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry if uh, my game style has frustrated you or or whatever, but I'm not going to let it bother me. <laughs> if you need to turn me off, because I know some people have, I don't want to say threatened to do that, but said, I'm just not going to watch you if you do this, then we're just not meant to be together. All right, here we go. There we are. Now I can keep moving. But uh, let me know what you did on that. You know, uh, certainly I'd, I'd be more than happy to hear what you came up with. And I'm sure it was a great smart idea. And, and uh, you know, you uh, you worked with the physics and, and did that. So uh, more power to you and, and that's awesome. I couldn't figure it out. So I just went with the solution that worked for me. You can tell I'm like, I'm like okay with it, but I'm starting to get, not oversensitive, but I, like, I think I, I dealt with so much of that. I mean, almost like I, I dealt with so much of the, the kind of the backlash of the way I was playing for a while, that it almost really kind of led to almost, not the end of the series, but a long pause to the series. Um, Cause I was just like, oh man, I can't do anything right. And I'm not pleasing the community anymore. And and uh you know what we have who we have and and uh i'm having fun with the game and i i for me to be able to enjoy the game i'm just gonna have an i don't care attitude and i hope that doesn't bother anybody but i just want to play my playthrough and if like i said if it's a mutual thing like well okay you just be you and i'm gonna be me and i'm going somewhere else to watch zelda videos um you know hate to see you leave but at the same time i just want to enjoy my game so that's what i'm doing and I promise you, I don't feel like I've robbed myself of anything. But I do want to see if Pen is over here. Uh, we need to get these metal things off for sure. And we've just discovered a new... This is cool. So now we have... Oh, I'm going to use this. And we'll use this shield. And we're still good with that. Okay. Oh, and this person has a mission to do. Who is I hope they stay away? Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer Sir. Word to the wise, while the sun is down, don't even think about wandering into the forest near here. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. Ooh, I mean, I mean fortress. I mean fortress. Uh, anyway, it is B-A-D bad news, and it brought some other monsters with it. And look. I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. You built a well? Nice job, Amy. Uh, I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well. I, I personally don't think I could make a new well. I mean, maybe I could. It would take me a long time. What if the monster... Monster, monster decides to raid us. I can't sleep. I can barely talk. Aww. I thought maybe I'd try to sneak attack from behind. You know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. Hint, hint, some, a way to fight them. If someone could at least get that big one to leave. Aww. We'll keep wishing, but for now, you really should steer here clear of the forest. They say it's hard for monsters to pick up your scent in the rain, but I say danger is danger in any weather. Okay, an uninvited guest. Let's see what else we got. Song for tired travelers. Kick 
Looking around. There you are, buddy. What do you got for a mission? Could be a huge story. This rain, huh, partner? Will it ever end? Ugh, no need to answer that. I know it'll end at some point. Just making small talk. Oh. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. Mm. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times. So I got to thinking, only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Pen, hold it on. You've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who. That's how at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> I can't read. I need more Madrinas. I heard that a man named uh, Isra lent her to the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stables raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. Okay. So, uh, missing farm tools. Apparently, Isra, uh, who looks after the stable raft, might have more details. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw this dance, instance? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper. Right. Ah. I didn't want this to get out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Zelda. You better know it. Anyway. Uh, but she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Ah. That was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Fort Sandbar. Okay. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Oh. I'd take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Ah. I know we could clear up this mess if someone could take me down river to floor at Sandbar on the raft. Okay. Huh. Oh, look at this. Sweet. Is that going to be enough? So glad to have a steering stick, too. Battery? Beautiful, we'll take you. Now I kind of almost feel like this needs to go down a little more. Yeah. Looks good. I wonder why Princess won't. And I'm like, I can take you. You mean you mean that fella? You take me to floor at Sambar? Thanks. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. Oh, guys, I'm out of time. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and it is actually not like a gazillion hours in the morning. <laughs> Later on, here we go. So now, will this guy let us out? He's got like a rope in the way. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Uh, oh, shoot. Okay. Um, can I cut the rope? 
Oh, don't go without me. All right, there we go. Going down the river. It's like the African Queen. You guys ever seen that movie? Careful of the river, Ben. This is a really nice boat. Hang on. Uh. I want to do this. I really like this boat. And I'm going to favorite it. Cause this is a really nice thing to cruise around down the river with. It doesn't seem to use a ton of the battery power. Now. Sounds like thunder, but it might just be the sound of the waves or the water against the shore. Guys, what if this is the last, the last mission? Okay, it's straight down river. Like, what if this is it? What if after this we've finished it and there's no more? Maybe it was 11 missions. I'm surprised if it, if it is though, because you would think it would be like an even number, 10, 12. Stop near that dock. <clears throat> you got it, buddy. Well, now we're just gonna be on my battery power, but we made quite a bit of distance. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Woohoo, we made it. Ah. We did a great job getting us here. Oh, you did a great job getting us here. Where did you learn how to handle a raft like that? I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Ah. Huh? Up in the sky, there's something or someone coming at us. <gasps> there we go. Ooh, finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right on down to help. But, uh, where are we? Magda. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You better watch out. You'll rue the day you tr trample on any of them. Oh my word, wait a minute. Isn't that the girl? Okay. She was in Breath of the Wild, and she was sitting next to a shrine that you had to get into without stepping on any of the flowers. And if you stepped on the flowers, didn't we all call her like a blight almost? Like she just, whoa, who's this? Ever met her before, partner? Uh. Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for far some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Huh? Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them. Magda. Yeah, didn't, didn't you guys call her like Magda Blight or something like that? Wait a minute. Farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Huh. That's right. Some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Huh. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here. Hmm. But the princess, well, they say she went missing. Oh. 
And all our hard work was ruined when, oh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. It's been working so, I've been working so hard since then to try to make it all nice again. Aww. Really? That's what happened? Now I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stables to pull those back. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to uh, make you hurry it up. Mm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers? Sounds like our princess, uh, sounds just like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh. I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Ah. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also, nope. That's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? Wow. You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Ah. What? I didn't say that. Ah. Well, close enough. So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said. I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. And I'm sure Zelda flies over it and grins. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah, Can't talk my way out of this one. And she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I I'll help. Oh. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Well, let's see. How, uh... Ah. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted. And those two worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue with the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. We've worked together to chase 11 of the stories relating to Zelda. Just as expected, partner, Tracy made the right call bringing you on. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Are we not done yet? Ah. Tracy gave another bonus. It sounds like that article on Zelda was a hit. Tracy was really excited about it. Anyway, here's the bonus. The job itself is rewarding, of course, but these are nice too. Don't you agree? I'm off to report back. See you around. Wow. Oh, there goes my boat. My boat's gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember Magda being... um. Zelda planted silent princess flowers. Man, there's really not a lot here. I'll just pick it because none of those people are anywhere to be found to stop me. And I think Zelda would want me to have them anyway. Oh shoot, there she is. Let's go say hi. Wow. Now then, there's no time to rest. I need to restore Hyrule's best garden as soon as possible so it's ready for when the princess returns. Guys, I want to so bad run through these flowers. <gasps> uh? Oh, ouch, that hurts. What are you doing? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. So listen to them and don't do such awful things. <laughs> wow. We're like loading into something here.
I think this is, yeah, this is the zone, I think. I need to go get some more arrows. I've been running out. Um, okay. That is a Korok. Pretty sure, anyway. Oh, no. That was actually just an axe. But now this brings us to an interesting thing. Sneaky river snail. Because... What the heck, guys? We're not done yet. Okay, so back to the map. And... Let's go back to the Gazette and see if Tracy says anything like, hey, there's one more place left or whatever. I have no idea how long this episode is. Guys, I have been chiming in and out of this recording all day long. I started like kind of this morning-ish. And... Uh, That bridge isn't built yet, but how much you want to bet that that guy from Hudson is there? Because that's where he was heading. He was at um, Land's End, or no, what, what was it? The Landing, anyway. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, hard at work. How's it going? You lose track? Let's see, right around now. Wait a minute, there is a Gerudo stable. Right around now, he should be canvassing Gerudo Canyon. This has got to be the last one. Before heading into the desert, southwest part of Hyrule. You can say goodbye. I know that for sure because I ah. see it was good, but readers all over Hyrule have their <laughs> guys. Oh my gosh, it's got to be here, right? Somewhere in here, is there anything? Okay, that's what that looks like. Is there anything that even remotely could be that here? I'm looking for a shape. This could be it. Oh, this very much could be it. Nope. Guys, look at that right there. That's a stable. Guaranteed that's the stable. So Gerudo does have a stable. Wow. Okay, it's just not in the desert yet. All this work. Guys, this has got to be it, right? I mean, this has got to be it. This has got to be the last one. And then we'll have all the... I, I'm sure this is it. And then we're going to have all the stables done. Like, all of them discovered. Here's go. Here's the other thing. That means there's, there's got to be a shrine here. Then I'm I'm betting just by the shape of that 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 is a horse stable. And that means it's here, guys. Is that no? Uh, 
Here. I bet you that's it. I bet you, I bet you. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. There's the smoke. Boom. Let's go. And there's the shrine. Shrine of light nearby. Over here. Nope. There it is. We'll hit the shrine. My goodness. Wow. I wonder if this is going to end up being like the longest episode I've ever done. We did a four hour episode at one point. No, we might have even done a five hour episode at one point. I just, you know what it is? I can't really find that sweet spot. There's been a couple of places that I've, looking back on, I'm like, oh, that might have been a good time to stop the playthrough. But, <clears throat> oh, it's electric. Hidden metal, cool. Great. Uh, awesome. Oh, that is not going to be enough. Because we have to light this and electric has to go through that. And then it has to touch that. And then touch that somehow. And then light that up. And then, what do you think? What, what's the deal with this? All right, so I can't just get up here with that. Hmm. Something more to that. That's how we do it. All right. Didn't even think to attach it. Oh, good lord. Better. Now you go like this. And then. Nice, and go up. There we go. Okay, so that light hits that, and it's going like that. This light's over here. And... Oops. 
Something needs to go here. What do we have? Take that, yep. That's a good one. Okay, I can't do that. Can't do that. I need something metal that can connect this ball with that right, right there. So close. What do I have that I can use? Okay. You know what? I got an idea. So, um, no. No, I did. Yeah, that works. That's not going to stay up, though. Yes, it will. No, it won't. We gotta glue it. But can it, it? No, it can't. It can if I go like this. No, it can't. What am I missing? Oh my goodness, it got me. There's gotta be some way, guys. Oh no, it, it actually went through. It's not enough. This is hard. No, it's not. There. We made it. Woo! Okay. That was a tough one to figure out. Of course, it ended up costing me that spear, but I've been sitting on that spear now for a while. Goodness, we're gonna be able to get two hearts by the time I'm done. <laughs>
All right, let's go to that stable. I hope it's not gonna be a long one. Man, I had no idea. That Gerudo stable, I don't think there was a Gerudo stable. Um, I didn't think there was a Gerudo stable in, in, in Breath of the Wild. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's go. Let's go say hi. Why are they all covered up? Will I ever clean all this up? Perhaps. I could bust down the door a little bit here. Hey. You need help cleaning? Oh, um, good job making it in here. I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way, but the stable has closed its doors for good. Thanks to this, this extreme weather, almost no one rides through here. We get very few visitors of any sort. Making things worse, Zelda gave the order that everyone had to stay away from our well. But we need that water, not to mention the mushrooms that grow inside it. It's only temporary. It'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it, she said. And then she completely abandoned us. Oh, sorry about that. The sadness just gets to me sometimes. Anyway, if you're looking for a place to rest, I recommend Kara Kara Bazaar. Just head out of here, turn west, keep going for a while, and there you'll find it. It's a bit of a hike, but if you can find some transportation at the desert's entrance, you can get in there in no time. As for me, I've got a mountain of junk to clear out, so I'll get back to it. Can't leave a mess. But just how am I going to deal with all this stuff? Oh, I'm going to deal with it. Get some arrows. kind of fun. Also, he's probably been stuck in here for a while and doesn't realize that Link saved the day. We got head probably to the well, though. Uh, is that it? Okay. Hey, buddy. Sorry, but I need to focus on cleaning this place up. Whoa, huh? All that junk is gone? What was he, like, sleeping? I wasn't sure what you were up to, truth be told, but clearly it was all part of masterfully removing that junk. You saved me, thank you. I sort of let the junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, which was a real problem. There's still some work to be done, but thanks to you, I can get out of this place. That said, given that I'm wearing the uniform and this stable's still standing, would you be my final oh. customer? Welcome to Gerudo Canyon Stable. You, sir, have the honor of being the very last guest that this stable will ever have. And that, dear customer, deserves commemoration in the form of one pony point. Thanks. <laughs> Well, that appears to be the end of my time as a stable hand. It's been a pleasure, sir, and I sincerely hope your journey ahead is a fruitful one. Now then, I still have a little more junk to clear away, so I better get back to it. Thank you again. Uh... Huh? Oh, I forgot about those. The Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. They just sort of got buried under all the junk. Huh? 
Let me just take off that wrapping. Hmm. They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on the walls would be nice. Just so the stable's final days don't have to be so lonely. Yeah, for sure. Um. Ah, uh. oh, Link, that was... Has that empty frame caught your eye? Hmm. I was so focused on cleaning up, I completely forgot about these frames. I owe this stable a lot after all, all the good years it's given me. I'd like to put up something nice so it can go out in style. I heard an interesting story from a Rito traveler who stopped by here uh. once. There's this local attraction nearby, Spectacle Rock. Just check your map, the place is famous. And this traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. <laughs> That's what I want to frame. What could be better than sending the stable off with a smile? It's just, just a shame that I can't fly to capture that view for myself. Oh. But if I had even a picture of the smiling Spectacle Rock, I could copy it for the frame and cheer things up in here. There you are. All right, hello there, partner. What's brought you all the way out here? I heard that visitors stopped, stopped coming to the stable, so this place had to shut down, but here you are. The temperature is really scorching my feathers, but just look at you, kid. Cool, calm, and collected. I've come to this stable because my sources were chirping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they say Zelda caused this problem. She shut down this well and declared it off limits. But without its water, this stable couldn't keep travelers' horses and the workers refreshed. The well also provided a steady supply of mushrooms to folks uh -huh. here. So, why'd the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's the big question. What we're short on is answers. The owner, who stuck here, is just as puzzled as anyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was so concerned about. My wings are too uh -huh. wide. Ugh, I wish there was some way we could get more details. That's called passive manipulation. Um, but seems like the deadest of dead ends to me. Maybe that's why. But what else is just going on here? Wait, let's get over there. I did it again. You got hit from the other side, I guess. Yep. Gerudo bow. That's nice. Uh, yeah. Get rid of that one.
Partner, I heard monsters down there. Are you okay? I'm okay. Well, that's yeah. it. So, what'd you find in the well? I don't know. I didn't get a chance to look because you brought me up here. Okay. So, there were a lot of monsters behind that pile of rocks? Oh. I can't help think the princess knew about that monster den. She must have had a barricade put up to seal away those creatures and protect everyone there. Now, why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery, but maybe she wanted to keep any panic from spreading. Or maybe it was only a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, a little speculation on my part, but that's gotta be the story here. What do you say? Um, holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. Uh, we've worked together to chase 12 of the stories. Huh. I can't hear the chirps and warbles of the birds anymore. It seems like this was the final rumor. I'm going to report this to Tracy. That means that this is probably the last addition to your nest egg, partner. 300. Thank you. Ah. I don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes the kind of money we're making. It really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper values you. Mm. If I'm being honest, though, I have a, f I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops is at an end. Sniff. Aw, oh, some water must have gotten caught under my goggles. Oh. It really it was a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know that the job's finished. We needed to make some educated guesses with our story, more than we'd normally do, but I'll stand by this piece. We know our princesses after all. She had to have everyone's safety in mind. I'll get to writing all of this up for the paper. You take care of yourself. Soar along. I'm gonna go back down. Because for one, I lost my shield. A hearty truffle. Yep. Did I lose my shield? Is it like gone, gone? I did. Guys, that was a good one, too. That was a good shield. Man. That was my... I had a 55 I was using. Use the Zonite, I guess. Bummer. Yeah, it was the electrical shock. Well... Oh, actually, I guess I could have just fast traveled. Let's go talk to Tracy. Here we go. It is done, guys. After a very long episode, after some really cool stuff over these last two episodes, for you know, fighting the Gleok and and doing a couple of the. Uh, proving grounds situations, um, helping a lot of folks out, clearing Zelda's name on some stuff. We did it. We did it. Good. Next time, one of the things I want to do is track down all my markers that I put on the uh, I put on the map and figure out. Oh, I gotta get that last one. Figure out what they were all for and if I can get them back. Ma. Aha! Our trusty reporter. So Link, pens filled me in on all the latest. 
We're relieved that you managed to get to the bottom of every, every one of those rumors about Zelda. And our paper circulation is stronger than ever. I'm almost speechless. Ah. Enough of that. You probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough. Here's what you earned. We got the froggy hood. That means we have a full outfit wow. that we can use for climbing now. Um, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? That will really help you stick with wet surfaces without slipping. In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is. But now I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you keep doing what you do. Your part in all this uh, will be clear soon enough, I bet. As for Penn, well, I've given him some time off with pay. Well deserved, too. He did a lot of reporting. I did tell him, hey, you say something nice to your partner after all this. I think I put him on the spot. Link, he looked at me in an odd way and flew off with barely a sore long. He was right in the middle of writing a news article, too. I can't say I know what that was about. He's bottling something up, maybe. Okay. Well. I wonder how they're doing here with the bridge. <laughs> Looks like we're going to find out, but uh, I'm going to save it. Guys, we, this has been a long episode, and uh, I've got to get back to some regular daily duties, but um, that was awesome, and now we've done it. And you know, every single time we finish something like that, I get really excited, but then I realize that's it. You know, like, when I finished all the geoglyphs, there was nothing else to do with the geoglyphs, and when I finished, uh, you know all the towers or when you start to get close to the end of the shrines. I remember that from Breath of the Wild. You start to realize that as you, every little thing you finish, you're that much closer to the end. Now I know we have a long way to go in this playthrough. Uh, a lot of things to discover, just shrines alone, you know, but uh, that's it. We finished this, we've got our sticky suit. Um, we even Pen got a little emotional. Um, but that's it. We did it. We we finished this. And this was a big thing to finish. And uh, now we've uncovered all the stables. Now, there are some other missions I need to go do. I need to go back down to that Gerudo stable. And I'm going to help that guy uh, out. Because now that I've cleared the well, I never actually talked with him. But I bet now that the well's clear and the water, they can get water and the mushrooms and all that, I bet he could actually reopen which would be cool. And he probably could use some help. He did have a side quest to do. So uh, there's all these little side quests to do. There's all these things to do. We still got to go back to the lookout landing. That's what, that's what it was called. We still got to go hit up Zelda at the castle. We've got so many things to do, but that's going to be in the future of our playthrough. For now, we're going to take this victory of getting all the stable missions done uh, or all the pen missions, the Gazette missions, getting all the rumors. Now, that's going to be the end of this episode. What a day, what a day, what a day. Guys, I've been at it most of the day. I started this probably around 10 o'clock mid-morning. It is currently 6.23. I've been checking in and out of this, you know, because obviously I don't want to renege on any of my normal daily life responsibilities. Those come first, of course, you know, when it comes to my wife and my daughter and everything else. But, um, you know, I, I'm so grateful to be able to, to chime in on this throughout the day and be able to continue to make content for you guys and, and uh, continue to make the channel a priority too. Um, guys, what a, what a fun time this was, and it, I feel accomplished. There was a lot that happened in, in this episode and the previous episode working on these pen missions because they all uh, they were all unique, and I thought that was really cool. Um, Pen's a cool character, and in a weird way, not in a weird way, but you know he's a Rito, and working with him kind of reminded me it was different. You know, because all of them, these weren't shrine missions. But it kind of reminded me of how we always had to find Cass in, in the previous game in all these different places and work on Cass missions. 
and uh, I do miss Cass a lot. I miss his music and stuff. I wish, you know what I wish? I wish this game would have DLC that would come out for it. I know they've said they're not going to, but man, I would love an expansion to this game. Uh, you know, where we get Cass and, and some cool side missions or whatever. Um, but anyway, that said, that's what this kind of reminded me of is working with him. To, and not all of these were huge missions. Some of them were really quick, actually. Like the girl down in the in the well that was singing, that went by really quick. Um, and some of these were a little harder than others. But then we fought a Gleok, and now we've done a couple of those like stripped down proving grounds kind of missions. And uh, and now we've upgraded, you know. We, we, oh, we need to go hit up another shrine. That'll give us eight um, things that we can eight eight orbs of light that we can go cash in and get two more hearts. Um, so there's there's some upgrades to do. We got to go talk to the fairy. We've been finding some blue nightshades so we can go upgrade our stealth armor. And now I think in our next episode, besides clearing cleaning up some of that stuff, I also also want to go back up to the top, pick a couple more sundalions. And then all we'll need is just the talons from Zelda, and I really want to make finding Zelda another um, priority because I want those talons, and I want to do some farming of parts, um, you know. And uh, not that she hasn't already given enough, but we need her talons, um, and uh, and because then that's going to upgrade our suit, our our shirt, and uh, I do want to keep upgrading the pants so I can get my stupid pants off. And uh, I'm just excited for what's to come, guys. We have so much little exp exploration and things like that to do. Um, it it's going to be fun, guys. I know we got a lot of shrines left. Because the way I look at it is if we have to fill out and get, like, the second line of hearts done, then each one of those hearts is four shrines. So there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do still, a lot of game to play. That's kind of why I'm not really proactively hitting the main storyline as much anymore i mean guys we've got so many side quests so many side adventures thank you guys by the way i think it was mikey who uh first cleared it up in the comments with the differences between those two um just one being longer and more in depth than the other um you know we've got a lot of that stuff to do before we ever move on with the the main quest stuff so uh you know we're gonna take our time and we're gonna explore it all it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited to continue moving on this with you guys. Hope you, hopefully you guys are having a good time too. And uh, do me a favor and click like on this video. Uh, that helps the channel a lot. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Come hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to dive in deeper, if you're saying, hey, this guy's working hard. We want to support him. He's trying to make good content, you know, to kind of just uplift and encourage everyone and just have a chill kind of play through. If you like these Let's Play videos, uh, then man, I could really use the support. So make sure to check us out on Patreon. You can get there by going to the link right here. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this whole video, I don't even know how long this is. For all I know, this is three, four, five hours long. I don't know. It's going to be a long one. Uh, probably going to take a break for a few days here, you know, and let people just kind of digest all this and watch all of it uh, before we dive in. We've got some more Jedi Survivor on the channel. We've got Fable on the channel. And I've come to the conclusion that I probably could do one more game on the main channel at the same time. Uh, and uh, that's going to be a surprise coming up on where we go next. And guys, I am looking forward to everything that is to come. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I will talk to you guys soon. But until then, take it easy.